back scale modelers to SMKR. This is Steve. Up next is the Tamiya Electric Handy Router. Now this is uh, new to me, but I'm pretty sure it's been out for a little while. It is, this is item 74042 and it retails for 1800 yen. Let's kind of look at the box art here real quick. Another tool from Tamiya that you actually have to build, like a model kit. And they do recommend goggles with this, and of course the router bit set, which I also have here. And we'll look at the router bit set here in a little bit. The router bit set is item number 74043, and it retails for 1,000 yen. And it says here it's 2.4 millimeter. Now you may recognize it because they also have a drill out. And this is a handy drill that you build yourself also. And uh, it turns slowly so it doesn't melt the plastic, but it is a very good tool for, for drilling holes in your plastic. Now the router obviously is what it says. It will route trenches and designs on your plastic. So this is perfect for scratch building. All right, let's look at inside. As soon as you open up inside, you see wrapped plastic parts in a light tannish gray. And we have both body halves and some gears. And looks like the decal set up there. <clears throat> Next we have the motor and they do give you some uh, some lubrication for your gears and all the metal parts and they do give you the, the chuck and the collet for the router bit. They do give you one router uh, bit and all the screws here. Then we have more parts for the router, and finally the instructions. Handy dandy instructions, easy to follow, step by step. Looks like a total of uh, four steps involved here, maybe more than that. Oh, yep. <clears throat> we have a total of eight steps. Quite involved. I'll be right back. We'll look at the parts.
Here are the tools you will need to assemble the router. A sanding stick, two different size Phillips screwdrivers, X-Acto knife, Tamiya side cutters, some sharp needle nose pliers, Tamiya extra thin, and the kit does supply the grease.
All right, a special note here. I made this mistake. Um, you definitely want to make sure you put your your contactor here for the switch incorrectly. I've got it in upside down. And it goes in this direction like this. And there you have it. This is the electric handy router fully assembled. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is add my batteries to it. What I like to use are the lithium ion batteries. These lithium batteries are my preference because when they wear out and you forget about them, they don't leak. So uh, I find that uh, this, your standard batteries will leak over time and destroy your electrical component. So I highly recommend that using the lithium ion batteries. Uh, these lithium batteries uh, last longer too. So, but uh, however, there is a caution with these. If you're going to be flying and you're going to throw this into your suitcase for a flight, do not, do not pack these in your suitcase because they have been known to catch on fire. Um, so be aware of that, and if you're going to go flying and throw this tool in your bag, uh, take the batteries out and don't even take them with you. Okay, let's go ahead and put the batteries in. Definitely has a faster speed than your uh, Tamiya drill. So after finishing up this build, um, the only leftover parts are the extra washers and a couple of extra snap rings. So, which is excellent because I find my I found myself having a hard time getting the snap ring in place. Um, if you follow what they show you in the instructions with using a small pointed needle nose, uh, you should do fine with that. And uh, you know. Those snap rings are a little bit tough to get on there. So if one goes flying off, you got two others. Here are the two motorized tools by Tamiya. On the right is the drill and on the left is the router. I'll operate the drill. We'll do a little comparison on speed here. Here's the drill speed. 
and here's the router speed. Big difference. And there you have it. This was the review and build of the Tamiya Electric Handy Router. This is kit number 74042. Thanks for watching everybody. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel, like it, and share it. In the description below, I will put a link to my blogger where I'll have photographs of all the kit parts and the in-progress build of this kit. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Anyway, happy modeling, everyone. Take a number, I was lightning before the thunder.